June 13th. We arrived in Marrakesh. I felt so lucky to be invited to experience this beautiful city. Marrakesh has been on my list of places to visit, so naturally when YSL extended the invitation, I was quick to say yes. We arrived at La Mamunia in the afternoon. It's possibly the most beautiful and palatial hotel I've ever seen, with endless ornate details and rich colors at every turn. I think you could spend days simply staring at every intricacy while the scent of cedar, dates, and orange blossom filled the air. The grounds were so calm and serene, I can still remember the sound of gravel under my feet. Later in the evening, we met everyone for cocktails and, you know, just a casual romantic dinner. What a way to start the week. June 14th, we began our day exploring now forgive my pronunciation, Les Jardins Majorelles. A beautiful botanical garden filled with exotic plants and pools designed by painter Jacques Majorelle. According to our guide, Yves Saint Laurent and his life partner Pierre Berger first came to the gardens in the late 60s and instantly became enamored with it. But it wasn't until the 80s that they ended up purchasing the gardens to protect it from being taken over by a hotel. And it's because of them that they helped restore the gardens to what they are today. They even have a home in the villa, and we were able to take a tour, but weren't allowed to take photos or video inside. But if you ever find yourself in Marrakesh, I highly recommend taking a look for yourself. I think you too will leave inspired. Later in the evening, we were taken by carriage to dinner on the rooftop of Riyadh El Fem to watch the sunset over Marrakesh with the mosque in the distance and hear the call to prayer was truly magical and it's a memory I won't soon forget. <laughs> June 15th. Today we ventured into the souks. There was so much to see and take in that I often felt overwhelmed. Part of me wanted to wander at a leisurely pace, but we had a lot to see in a little bit of time. I fell in love with so many pieces I saw, but I also didn't want to rush into any purchases in case I found something later in the tour. We went into one lantern shop in particular that just took my breath away. Honestly, a lot of photos or video clips that you're seeing don't do this place justice. There's so much more to these places, and that's probably the piece that I wish I could share with you the most. Sadly, I ended up walking away from the souks empty-handed, but all the more reason to return, right? For our last night in Marrakesh, we were treated to a dinner in the desert. We drove for about an hour outside of the city and were greeted by a herd of camels, And yet again, we were surprised by another incredible dinner presentation, complete with entertainment. It's 
moments like these that truly imprint themselves in my memory. June 16th. It was almost time to head home, but we had one final, once-in-a-lifetime experience left on this trip. We woke up before the sun in order to watch it rise from new heights. Crossing off yet another item on my bucket list, the hot air balloon. Now I will say I'm not crazy about extreme heights, but this is something completely unlike flying in an airplane or going up and down a roller coaster. It is unbelievably peaceful to float through the air. And what a way to remember Marrakesh. I don't think many of us realized that Yves Saint Laurent drew a lot of inspiration from Marrakesh, but after seeing all the colors and feeling the energy of the city, I think it all became a little clearer. So this puts an end to my little postcard from Marrakesh. Wish you were here.